Lord, I don't have in me naturally what it's, what it's going to take to fulfill this mission. So I am gladly desperate and dependent, and it's going to be vocalized in prayer for supernatural, spirit-empowered boldness to move toward mission. Welcome to the One Cry Podcast, a nationwide call for spiritual awakening. The goal, accelerating the movement of God through sharing revival truth, stories, and reports. Well, welcome to the One Cry Podcast. I'm Bill Elif, and this is the uh, uh, inimitable, easy, easy. The, uh, <laughs> the infamous Kyle oh, Reno. That's, that's more. And, right. uh, <laughs> so we're really happy to be with you today. And uh, Kyle, I'm telling you, I'm I'm having the time of my life as we're walking through this kind of an extended series we're doing on the podcast about prayers right. that change the world. Right. I think I'm, the reason I'm so excited about it is because I just believe it. Right. I just I believe that mm. prayer is the engine. It always has been. Sure. That brings about uh, it brings heaven down to earth and uh, and changes things significantly. And you know we're hearing right now, Kyle, about uh, men who are capturing this or it's capturing them. They're entering their churches are entering to new levels of prayer. But, but here's the fascinating thing: new levels of evangelism and That's witness, right. and right. and people being baptized. Yeah. Yeah. People are, man, I, every time I turn, you know, I, I think you're exactly right. One, we've got desperate. Two, we're, we're uh, in new ways, I think, praying more effectively. Mm-hmm. But then God is putting on our hearts again what's always been on his heart, far from God people. And yeah. and you're hearing these stories, man, I, in our region here of this church, man, just saw 20 people ba- baptized, you know, this yeah. Sunday. But that hadn't happened in the last two years. You know, like, yeah. and they, they just saw this whole student group, man. They had more salvations than they had students last year. You know, like there, there's these these ripple effects, which just builds our faith for what's to come. Well, and and you know, we won't take time now. We've we've uh, we've shared the specifics about this on other podcasts, but I mean, I know of one church that's that's baptized eleven hundred people. They never baptized more than a hundred. Wow. And baptized 1,100 people last year. Wow. Another one, 1,500 people. Mm-hmm. Another one, 600 people. Another mm-hmm. one, 350 people. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I'm, not, I'm not being, I'm not exaggerating right. uh, when I say from, from just decades of experiencing and watching churches and seeing the right. ebb and flow of the waves of God's movement, we're seeing in, an increased harvest right now in America, and uh, and it's thrilling. I mean, you read the accounts of mm-hmm. of the baptisms happening on the West Coast and the East Coast uh, of thousands of people. Yeah. So uh, th- these are the things that you would later read in accounts about a time of spiritual awakening. That's right. Know? But right. it's just beginning right now. Yeah. But that starts, Kyle, doesn't it, with... Yeah. With fearful Christians at the yeah, very sure. beginning, because n- none of us really are bold about witnessing. Very few yeah. people. Uh, yeah. you know, we're we're not great at this. Yeah, yeah, not the right kind of boldness. We can be weirdly bold. <laughs> See, yeah. like there's there's all kinds of measures of that. And and I'm just as you're talking about that, like we read the accounts in Acts, and we're like, man, alive. But mm-hmm. but if we listen to the reports right now, we should be going, man, alive. You know, like, look, look, listen to what the mm-hmm. Lord's doing. We have it captured in Scripture in this beautiful way. But remember what's playing out. Man, you got the work of the Spirit of God. You know, like the, the Spirit of God is moving in powerful ways. The people of God are positioned, you know, in prayer. And the, the Lord is speaking to them. You have bold gospel proclamation. You got miraculous supernatural things happening. And then I love, and I want to talk about just for a second, the kind of prayer I think that changes the world. But guess what? I mean, all those things come with opposition. That spiritual activity always brings about spiritual activity. Mm -hmm. So as we're seeing God work, and as we'll see God work, we can anticipate the the other side of that coin. 
that the enemy is going to hate the activity of God in your life, in your church, in your area, for sure in this nation. And so you get a moment right there in Acts 4. Guess what? Everybody's not fired up. You know, everybody's not thrilled over the fact that people are putting faith in this resurrected Jesus Christ. And and you got one of the first tension moments, you know, for these, these man, heart full of passion followers of Jesus, you know, where they where they can go, oh, wait, well, should we back up? Which there's a tendency in every one of us. Complacency is hardwired in humanity. Like there's something about us that when, when things get tough, we're like, no, let's 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 hedge our bets a little bit here. You know, mm-hmm. let's see what what's the line to to personal pain because I just want to get right before that line. Well, for them, they have they got a line. They're, either they're going to say, all right, how do we still get this out there enough, but where we don't get on other people's radars in the way that's going to cost us persecution and pain? But this is what I want to say to us, and I love for us to talk about it, Bill. They <laughs> they bust right through that line, mm-hmm. they but and they do it in prayer, mm-hmm. like they bust right through that line of going like, no, we are not going to come down, no, we are not going to settle, no, we are going to believe for more people's lives to be impacted, more miraculous moves of God in our region, and they and they break through it in a bold prayer that ultimately changes the world. You know, you so, wonder, you wonder. What would have happened in Acts 4 if, because Peter, you know, people were being imprisoned mm-hmm. and soon some were going to be killed. What would have happened if the church had just shut down and said, well, we're none of that. Yeah. But what's beautiful that you're going to tell us about here in this passage is, is they didn't settle. No. They, but, but they moved. They did the one thing. Right. They changed everything. And tell us what that yeah. was. I mean, just the, the scripture says, verse 29, Acts 4. And now, Lord, look upon their threats. What I love is they got real. Hey, Lord, look what's happening. I think a lot of times in prayer, we don't, we don't, we don't pray real things. I say, hey, Lord, we got real threats, real persecution, real pain. See what's happening right now. God loves, I mean, the Psalms are this genuine account you know like hey god look what's happening people hate me i got enemies look at their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness Mm -hmm. lord look they're telling us to be quiet but would you give us the boldness to keep sharing let me tell you what what i love about what they recognize and we have to recognize the kind of prayer that changes the world is Lord, I don't have in me naturally what is what it's going to take to fulfill this mission. So I am gladly desperate and dependent, and it's going to be vocalized in prayer for supernatural, spirit-empowered boldness to move toward mission. And so they recognized that they recognized the pain that they had. Hey, Lord, look what's happening. They didn't ask him to save them from it. They didn't. They didn't ask. They didn't ask the Lord to. There's times for that. There's times to ask the Lord to get you out of the pit and out of the pain and all that. But more so, they said, "Lord, don't let us back up." Mm-hmm. Like the the greatest miracle that can happen right now is that you make people that would run away run toward, run toward these things. And then, and this is what I love. It says, "To speak your word with all boldness, while you, while you." not us, while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. So they said, Lord, let our ministry be marked with your miraculous presence. Mm. Like I said, what a prayer. God, give us boldness to share. God, and we're asking that you would mark our ministry with the manifest presence of God. And that would be manifesting that, hey, this person's been healed, this person got help this person got this word that they they needed a lot of times we get all crazy about those things what what, what he what they're praying for is like lord we need you here we need we we the the perfume of the presence of jesus is the miraculous but the mm-hmm. the, the thing we need to be asked for is the presence of jesus like the presence and you know, of the, and the and the point of that and we see this all through the book of acts 
the point of all that miraculous was not just the, you said it, not just mm -hmm. the miraculous. Mm -hmm. It was to authenticate the message. That's right. It was to authenticate yeah. this is God and mm -hmm. this is his, his good news. And if you believe yeah. it, you'll be saved. Right. You, you'll go to heaven. You'll, your life will be changed. Right. I, I think we get, I think we get all wrapped up in the miraculous mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and sometimes that's all we pray for mm -hmm. without the end result. Or sometimes mm -hmm. we don't pray for the miraculous because we just right. don't, you know, we don't think it's yeah. real anymore. And, but they were praying, Lord, you do this, yeah. but do it and give us boldness in our speech yeah. at the same time so that we can proclaim the gospel and people can be saved. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be a part of it. We yeah. want to be a part of your movement. So we're going to need boldness. And then we're asking for the fullness of your movement. Like we, yeah. we, we want to see you be you right here. And we know that that changes everything. And I love this. And obviously, man, and this is one of those, this is the early church. There's, there's things that, that Jesus is establishing in the early church, much, much like, and I, I think the Lord can still do this much like we don't see people falling out dead all the time, like Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5, you know, for a lot of our listeners say, praise God, because that could have been us at one point, you know, like, but God is making a dramatic statement. You know, he's making it. And I think and I, to reveal his heart, I think God's making a dramatic statement right here when he answers their prayer immediately like this. And when they had prayed wow. and when they had prayed, which is he's going to say, hey, when they did what? When, when they prayed. Like when they prayed, like all the things, all the disciplines of, of the spiritual life, all the things we could talk about in the life of the church. He said, no, but man, when they prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and what? And continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Like so, so God's literally, this is. Hey, no, I'm not making a theological statement here, but I, I, I'm, I'm making I'm making a statement in light of I think God's heart. I think God got so excited that he just shook the ground. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I honestly like you, you ever been just so excited? You're like, yes. Mm. I mean, in me, it's just I think God's going, man, yeah, this is this is it, guys. Mm -hmm. If you will pray for these kind of things, if you'll seek me when things get hard, if you don't back up, if you'll just man, keep coming in. I will hear you. I will answer these kind of things. And what does he get? What does he move? How does he move? He empowers them with a fresh feeling of God's spirit. So, so hey, man, you're a little weak. You're a little tired. You're, I'm going to fill you up with some boldness. And I'm going to send you out what? To share the message again. And I just think, Bill, those are the kinds of prayers that can change our nation. Well, okay. and in your statement about God's delight in this. Yeah makes me think of Solomon, you know, and, and God said, I'll give you anything. Yeah. And he didn't pray for riches. He prayed for wisdom to lead people. Right. I want to help people, but I don't know how. And I need God initiated mm -hmm. wisdom. So mm -hmm. that just delighted God. And God said, look, mm -hmm. because you asked for that, I'm going to give you wisdom, but I'm going to add on riches. That's too. right. So here, here are these disciples and, and, he, God is so delighted that it's okay to pray for safety, you know, at mm -hmm, times sure. we ought to pray for safety, but they didn't pray for safety. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't even mention safety. They, they said, God, just manifest yourself and give us boldness to speak in the midst of uh, threats upon our, our own lives. And, uh, and God just shook the place and filled up. <laughs> used them. And, and, and that's why, don't you think that that's why then and would be the reason now right. that we would see the church begin to explode? Right. Yeah. I think the, the, the Lord's not playing games. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I think when you see prayer in the Bible, I think it should help us to say, here's a prayer hearing, a, a people, a, a, a God that cares about people, and that, and that he longs to move in ways that are immeasurable. Like I, it goes back to pray big things, you know, like, like pray. It's the, what, what bigger thing can they ask for in that moment than to not quit, yeah. you know, to not back up. That's a big, hey, God, give me the strength to keep going forward. And I'm just thinking, Bill, 
what what pastors and what bold things can pastors and churches start praying for you know in their in their region right now what measures of boldness to i'm thinking about the discouraged pastor that needs boldness to go back at it you know like they to go back at the word i need for the church to believe again for relevance in their community like well, said, and, and, and we're entering into a season, Kyle, everybody knows it, where in America, the cultural pressure yeah. not to keep our mouth shut. Mm-hmm. And because we're going to be ridiculed, we're going to be prosecuted. Uh, mm-hmm. The world's going to come after us. I mean, right. it's that's that's the day of that not happening is over. Right. So we're going to either push through. Mm-hmm. ourselves or not right, right and and it happens in prayer so yeah. uh, we ought to pray about this Kyle yeah. uh, well, why don't we just go into a season here and and just like the uh, the disciples in Acts 4 let's pray the same prayer mm-hmm. and uh and that God would give us the uh the boldness the filling we need and the boldness yeah. we need. why don't you begin and then I'll close yeah so why don't we uh, just take the model of that passage and just say to the Lord, Lord, um, look around and see what's happening. Just you right there where you are, just let the Lord, maybe you got some specific things, maybe some some threats you're facing. Let the Lord, the Lord know right there. Just say, Lord, do you see what's happening? Because he does, but he wants to hear it from you. And then ask him. Ask him to grant you, servants in your church, to speak your word with boldness. Ask him to give us boldness again. Ask him to help us proclaim the good news of the gospel with effectiveness, with anointing. Ask him to move miraculously. And then ask the Lord to, to save people. Just yeah. save people. Lord, would you just save people? Yes. Let your word go out and be effective and powerful, not return void. Yeah. And we are asking, Lord, for a harvest. Yes. And we thank you for what we see around us. But, yeah. Father, we pray for more. We, we pray for a great spiritual awakening that would be so uh, demonstrative and so Mm. uh, real Mm -hmm. that nobody could say nothing's happening. Nobody could ignore Mm. it. Even uh, secular people would say, well, something's happening. There's a movement that's happening. Yes. And so we pray for that. And Lord, we don't pray for that uh, Mm. so that we can return to 1951 Mm you know, uh, Americana, we pray for right. that, Lord, so we can uh, see your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it's being done in heaven and that, that we would glorify you and churches would rise up and become the great mission sending agencies to the world mm-hmm. that we need to be. So, Lord, we we thank you for this passage. We thank you, Lord, I don't even know their names, but I just thank you for those those humble men and women in Acts 4. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how many there were, but they were meeting and just mm-hmm. praying in that prayer meeting. Lord, you know their exact names. Yeah, You know where they live, their children, what they did for a living. Lord, I thank you for those people. Yes, Lord. And that they push through, Lord. Mm-hmm. I pray, Father, we'll be people that push through. Mm-hmm. And, and we're not intimidated by... Mm-hmm by the world's uh, roaring and and saber rattling and the mm-hmm. devil's intimidation. Mm-hmm. But Father, we would we would maybe cower, but we cower in prayer. Mm-hmm. And then we stand up in boldness and the and the place is shaken. Mm-hmm. So we, we ask that you would do that and we ask it for your glory in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Well man, what a privilege to we'll open his word again and have our hearts moved. And so we're just thankful for you, our listeners. And and if you would, man, if God's speaking to you in this, in this whole series, man, share it with somebody, man. Pass it on. Let them know that, hey, you're on this journey where you're learning how to pray the kind of prayers that change the world, and you want them to go on that journey with you. And so we look forward to 
being with you next week as we keep unfolding places in the scripture that show us that prayer changes things. Look forward to seeing you next week.